Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Boy howdy, this is an exciting video today and this has been a long time in the works. I want to first apologize to LS3D Printing, the person we're showcasing today. This did take a while to get out. I was trying to get all of my flustered MCX custom videos done and then tackling his because, you know, he featured a lot of his work in the flustered MCX series. And if you do want to check that stuff out, it is well worth a watch. But today, we've got an almighty package from LS3D Printing. And I'm joined today by Strandy42. Hello, welcome, welcome to the channel. Hello, thanks for having me, Simon. It's good to be here. You're so welcome, you're so welcome. I mean, you of all people wanted to get your teeth stuck into this package, yes. and I'm sure you wanna go home with a few of these as well, which we're if gonna only. be we're gonna be able to negotiate something. <laughs> um, and this is actually part one of two. Today, we're having a look at LS3D Printing's work, and next time, we're having a look at Dougie Custom 3D Prints as well. If you, I mean, Strandy, can explain it better than I can. The custom 3D printing community has popped off It this has year. gone absolutely wild. Uh, I've been a part of the Instagram community for a while now. It has gone through several phases. One of the big ones was just photography. Then we really got into the painting and the biggest and greatest, I think, evolution of the community has been these 3D prints. Right. They have been absolutely insane. Yeah, and I've actually reached out to Mega personally and asked Yan what he thinks of 3D printing. And he's made it clear that Mega sees 3D printing as a custom extension to the community, which is exactly how you should see it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the only way it should be, right? Like, Mega shouldn't, uh, you know, reject any of this. This is just a great extension to what they produce. It keeps getting their name out there more. Yeah. Mega have also said that they might look into the avenue of 3D printing in the future. I want Mega to be able to uh, produce stuff as well. I would love Mega to get to the point where they can kickstart 3D printing projects and then ship out finished products to people who pay to join the Kickstarter. That would be cool. It would be amazing. And today, other LS3D, side. yeah, other <laughs> side. And today, LS3D printing has sent us just a cornucopia, an absolute uh, treasure trove Man. of custom 3D printed pieces. That is pretty wild. It's so sweet. We're gonna review them all today. Strandy has brought some of his figures to add uh, to the pop and swaps, and I've got a big box of mine. And when I'm in England, settled down, I would love to pay an actual like a uh, Warhammer 40K or some kind of miniature hobbyist to paint these professionally for. I would also like to give uh, give them some uh, give some of them a go myself as well. So we got so many things. Uh, should we should we take them all out first, yeah, and I then think, we'll do some pop and swapping? I think just dump. And yeah, we'll pick through it. Now the thing that we we're both very excited about here. Now this is the ODST or one of the four ODSTs that came in the new ODST Hive Exterminator, and this was a really important set because it came with the new ODST backpack, the new rucksack. Yes, and uh, this has been you know asked for, requested uh, from Mega for generations. But LS3 3D printing makes a whole backpack series of his own. These are Fireteam Raven's backpacks, each one for each of the different characters. So just look at the detail on these things. I especially love that knife. I don't know which ones go with which, but we can easily tell that this is meant to be the uh, backpack that has come out with Mega recently. This little detail here mm -hmm. on the 3D printed backpack particularly is nice. One, two, three, four. What do you see next? Uh, sticking I'm, out I'm to thinking, you? Uh, thinking weapons. What do we have there? Ooh. So we've got a hey Halo Wars 2 Spiker. Sort of debuted in uh, Awakening the Nightmare, Yeah, right? that was when like, we first saw it really in cutscenes and stuff. Mm, it's so nice, it's so nice. So I imagine like, if you could paint this up properly, and obviously G Customs Creations does such good work Absolutely these wild work. So uh, I would love to see this painted up. It looks amazing, like, uh, oh, honestly. And we go, oh, what's that Magnum there, We've buddy? Got, I think CE. CE pistol. That pistol is actually a Halo Reach pistol. Yeah, yeah, it is a Reach pistol. Yeah. And we're gonna showcase his website in this video, you can buy all of this right now, or at least most of it, whatever, whatever's in production. And this guy is so genuine, like he answers DMs really respectfully. He's always keeping the community up to date. He's a great guy to uh, support in this community. And he's been making this full time, right? Yeah. Like he'd been trying to do 3D printing full time, which is just so legendary. If you can do this full time, that is, that's such an epic thing. It's a real great showcase of how you can have passive income online. Look at this BR, man. Oh, Halo the 2 BR. BR. Halo 2 BR. Just looks so nostalgic, dude. It is like, so it's, pretty. Looks so nostalgic. The one thing that I would say Mega is kind of lacking in is weapon variants. So that would be a dope thing uh, to see in the future. And the heat wave. The heat wave. This one, um, I think it it, it, it kind of, it, to me, needs a little more like etching into it. Like it seems like a bit flat here. Look at that heat wave. So four weapons and four backpacks. What a great start. They look so epic on camera. All right, next I want to show off. This is the only thing that I requested that isn't Halo related. 
Sauron's head <laughs> from Lord of the Rings. Absolutely. Just a just a fun addition, you know. Just just just, for, just a little bit of We've fun. We've got so many elite heads here. I think uh, before we do the elites, I'm gonna focus on the Spartan heads. Oh, we do have this Kukri knife. I think it might. Oh, <laughs> what? Good old kit bashing right there to be able to glue it onto a shoulder pad of Whoa. some sort. That is. That's Wild. So good. That's wild, bro. All right, so that knife actually detaches, unsheaths. Wild, dude. We've got a helmet next that has, uh, you know, taken the internet by storm over the last year. It was the winner of the MCX fan vote in uh, 2021, and this is the Haunted Helmet. Oh, it's so pretty. Buddy, With what? removable visor. Oh, absolutely wild. The depth of those eyes, comp like, really just haunting. Like, that's, that's nightmare fuel, dude, dude. one of my favorite things about LS3 at this point is, dude, he starts from scratch. He makes all of this. He doesn't rip files. No, he, he doesn't rip files doesn't at rip all. Files. These are his wow. own creations See, from the start. that's just, a, that's so much more effort. It is so cool. And the fact that that actually just clips on and it, you it know. Doesn't it, it doesn't fall off. off. Like, obviously, if you tap it a little bit, it'll fall off. But, like, it really stays there. And that is saying something, man. That, like, that Ingenuity, is so impressive. So impressive. engineering the skill haunted he has. helmet, bro. Oh, I can't wait to pop and swap these. Cannot. Wait. We've got something that's gonna tickle the uh, the the taste buds of any ODST fans out there. We've got these backpacks. How about this helmet? Ooh. And that is a Halo 2 anniversary inspired helmet. Halo 2 anniversary. And you can you like you can't even see all the details. Like my camera can't pick up all the details. But the best way to show it off is from someone like Wildfire or any of the custom. Uh... Oh, I actually I unbox one of these ODSTs on my Flustered MCX series. You can see just how detailed the visor is. It has all these different lines etched into it. That ODST helmet is legendary. And you know what else is legendary? The Zeta Sky helmet from Halo Infinite. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Just, out, just outrageous, dude. Just outrageous. Got a nice little flashlight on there. Military police. Military police. And the last one, ah, oh, the CQB. Honestly, and, I think in my favorite helmet in this bunch And you can so get far. attachments with LS3D printing as well. This has two attachments on it. Uh, you should really, like, everybody needs to take a moment to browse this website. Even if you're not going to buy something, it's super educational to see all the uh, 3D renders of these uh, helmets and everything else. And then we've got our Sang Healy. Sang Healy Elite. Wow. Uh, where do you want to start, Strandy? Uh, let's just start with the classics. This is just a Halo CE. Actually, it might be anniversary. I'm not exactly. It might be an anniversary. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's it just, dude, it's an elite. It's an, it's, it is traditional elite. He has oh. gone so far Yo. as the helmets pop off. Oh my goodness. With an angry, roaring elite. Amazing. And I do apologize. Like, I would like, uh, I need a better lens to even show these off. Like, even this lens is struggling because it's not designed for this small of a thing. But it, uh, yeah, because you really want to pick up on the details on these. The jaws look outrageous. So we've got four different standard elites here. And there's a lot of different styles, okay? So we've got these two elites. They're the same elite, more or less, except this one has a, a nice different, like, sort of pincered helmet. This one is more flat. I think that's an arbiter. That's helmet. an arbiter? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's like a Halo 2 arbiter. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got either the jaws closed or open, but then you've got the same elites, but half jaw. So there's the arbiter half jaw, and there's this uh, this other elite half jaw, except this one doesn't have his mandibles open. So there's all these different varieties, and these helmets are swappable. And, you know, one of the things I have said about Mega Constructs a lot recently is they need to phase out of having a hole in the helmet. They need to just have the helmets loosely slip on. I know it's a bit more of a pain. They all get lost in the box, but, like, if not all that, they at least need to release some heads that don't have holes in separately, especially with elites like Gek Lahar. Then we've got one more helmeted elite. Oh, I didn't know you had that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and this is all one solid mold. He's uh, he's wild. I the know. silent shadow. I think that's a silent shadow. Yeah, that's a silent shadow. Outrageous. Dude. And then we've got three elite heads. Of, if this wasn't all enough, we got three elite heads that don't have any helmet but are just absolutely exceptional and don't have a hole in the head. Amazing. And look at it, even those neck veins, dude. Like, what the heck? So, Strandy, I think it's time to pop and swap. Let's clear the elite Spartans. We got the knife, the weapons, and the backpacks. What do you want to start with, Strandy? Uh, I want to start with the backpacks real quick. We mm -hmm. have three of the four. Get an orange one. Figure out exactly what colors they go for. Nice, let's do it, let's do it. So, for the first one, we definitely have the backpack with the knife. Goes with our green boy. 
I honestly don't remember their names, sadly, but that's okay. Look at that. I oh, love that. That gorgeous. looks so good. So next, we're gonna go with just our standard rucksack. I actually do really enjoy the size of those backpacks. Like, Mega's is good, is really, really good. Yeah. But I do like yeah, this upscale. Yeah, yeah, well, this one's a nice backpack that Mega does officially do. That just looks so good. And then our purple, we'll get the last one. They're not expensive. They're uh, like a $4.50 four, four dollars? Four dollars yeah. a backpack. $4.50. 50 cents a backpack, ladies and gentlemen. Like, if you want to customize your ODSTs, that's the way to go. And it's totally worth it. That yeah. was, those are absolutely wild. There is a noticeable difference there. Let's give them a Please. military police yeah, helmet. I like that. I like that. I actually vibe with that. That's pretty fun. Next, we've got our 3D printed silent shadow helmet. I'm actually going to give this, interestingly, to this elite. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's, that actually looks really that's cool. That's actually pretty good. CQB, baby. Woo! Nice, nice, I nice. really like that. Just looks... So cool. Yeah. What would you have your arbiter do? Nice, nice, nice. I love that. My priority if I was buying these would be like new heads like CQB, but I know a lot of arbiter fans out there would love this. Uh, he's the villain we never knew we needed. Hey, not bad, not bad. Yep. Yeah, I like that. God, these are so epic, dude. <laughs> yeah. These are so epic. So this is another quick pop and swap of mine. That is my buddy Rift, well. but we're going to give him. Oh, the Zeta Sky, the of Zeta course. Sky. That makes perfect sense. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I love it. That I looks love it. so good. Wow. Zeta Sky. Halo 2 ODST. Beautiful. And then we've also got this Matty Crafts custom. They all work so well, dude. No, I just did that. Oh, yeah. And then the CQB is going to go on Heretic that. Elite. And he's angry as well. Yeah, I love that. I love that. That's really fun. These have all been so great. And then uh, we'll take the Halo 2 Battle Rifle. Nice. Brute Spiker. I'm gonna give that to our mech suit, Craig the Brute. <laughs> and the final one, we're gonna give this Heat Wave. Who are we gonna give the Heat Wave to, dude? Uh, yeah, to yeah. the Black Air Assault. To the Black Air Assault. Epic, bro. I mean, this is LS 3D Printing's work, and this is only like a little section of it. He's got way more on sale, and he's producing so much now he's doing full time, and we cannot wish him more success with it. The 3D printing community has really given another layer and another life to this ever-expanding MCX community. And we don't know what the future holds, you know? Maybe one day Mega is no longer producing Halo and we rely on 3D printing exclusively. So we have to support this as it's a new hobby, yes. like as it's an up-and-coming hobby. So LS3D printing, I hope we showcased your work well enough. What's your personal favorite right now, dude? Uh, this Zeta Sky works yeah, really I'm well. I'm really dude. liking how really that looks. Well, yeah. I'm also... The, the I'm, backpacks. I'm a big fan of this uh, Sessa. Yep. Especially the black kind of works because he's got a full black jumpsuit, yep. which is your absolute favorite uh, piece though which is your favorite uh, my printed absolute piece? favorite printed piece I really do have to say it's just gonna be the backpack you and to say the, the backpack. standard backpack is standard backpack. absolutely wild Damn. it is so good isn't it mm -hmm. it is so my good. if it wasn't that it would definitely be the BR the BR I love what he did with that BR it just it looks so good it does look amazing I am yeah. actually gonna swap that out for my pop and my signature figure mm -hmm. that looks so stinking good yeah i mean they look so good on anything like the cqb wet work it, it's so good shout out to you all thank you very much for tuning in today this was another video with the domain with strandy 42 in collaboration with ls 3d printing and you can check out a load of the actual painted work on my flustered mcx series i'm gonna paint a load of these when i get to england eventually and in the next episode we'll be showing off the wonderful work of dougie custom 3d prints so you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. The Nightmare Sauron Master Chief, here to end Middle Earth, is signing off. Mm -hmm.